Hello everybody, it's Robert with RV Weekends and we're heading to the Daytona RV Show. It's another one, not the same one as the one before, it's a different one. And since it's so close, I'm here at the RV show. Let's go. Hello everybody and thanks for coming by to check out the Daytona RV show. Yes, this is my second RV show in Daytona. It's actually held by the same company, but it's a month later and I uh, last time I checked out most all the grand designs. This time I'm going to check out the class A's, B's and C's. And I'm going to focus mo mostly on just going through it rather quickly and letting you be entertained by it. So let's get it started with this Class B. Check it out. And Class B's have their certain benefits and certain disadvantages. And of course you can see the benefit is they're small and you can park in a regular parking spot so you don't need extra parking pulling a trailer or anything like that but it is very tight in here so you wouldn't be putting too many people in this thing but a lot of people enjoy it because of its convenience of parking and not having to have a large place to turn around and things like that they do put a lot in these little rigs uh, but they do charge you for it so they they have a wonderful layout here in these class B so it's not for everybody but it is for some people well I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna put two of the class B's next to each other for the sake of time and you can compare them left and right and see how they differ some are similar some have differences uh, all these class B's will be on the Dodge platform but they will have some special amenities this one on the right has the beast mode installed I don't know what all those features are but it looks like it's a little more adventurous you know, with more aggressive tires, and more technology built in, and less comfort. And on the left, you can see there's plenty of comfort. You know, you got beds, and special cabinets, and more places to sit, beautiful floors and such. Where the one on the, the right has the rugged floor, you know, for mud and dirt and stuff. And this one has the spare tire mounted on the the door I think they do that because on the other version it's mounted underneath and they don't want that there for going off-roading they want more ground clearance so they put that spare tire on the back there were other differences but thank you you know we're not uh, spending time doing that so here's another couple of models you can see the differences this one has a dinette straight ahead on the left and the other one did not uh, same Dodge front end crew cab <clears throat> crew cab it's not a crew cab anyway that one had like a hutch or something instead of a dinette and here on the left is the kitchen same thing and has lots of seating on both of these so look at that backsplash on that sink I've never seen one like that very very unique 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 and here you go it's got a bike rack or some kind of rack on the outside that's very nice So two different models, two different styling, two different colors, made by Dodge. Look at the difference in prices on the left, 130, and on the right, 84,000. So it's quite a big difference. And the one on the right looks kind of nifty. It's got like a loft with a ladder, very neat. And same front end, it's a Dodge Ram. And there's a ladder to go into the loft. Let's go up there on the right. On the left, there's a kitchen. Look at all that seating down here on the one on the left. It's huge two bench seats. Uh, I'm sure that turns into a big bed. And then in the back, it's the bathroom. So you can see the difference here. The back of this one rig on the left is the bathroom. And the back on the rig on the right is the bedroom. So you can see, you can pick and choose what you want and pay for what amenities you like. This one has a ladder built in. The other one does not. But the other one has the nice law. So many choices. 
You gotta really know what you want before you go to the shows no, or you'll get overwhelmed. Much. Hey, the one on the left is $30,000 cheaper than the one on the right. Pretty red color. As soon as you come in, the one on the left has a kitchen and one on the right is it's more seating. You, you see that contrast there. And look at that little table. That was cool. More seating, and this one has a kitchen. More, this kind of resembles the other RV. This one on the left, the kitchen. The kitchen is on the right, and the one on the right, the kitchen is on the left. And here is your wet bathroom. And there you have it for the Class Bs. It's time to move on. And as you can see, I'm here at the Daytona International Speedway. At another RV show. It's only about a 40 minute drive from my place, so why not? There's another one in Tampa, but that's a two and a half hour drive at least a two plus hour drive so not going there today maybe maybe tomorrow maybe let's get back to touring all right now we're going to move on to the class c rvs these are rvs that have like a truck front end and they have the camper built in so class c rvs Similar to the Class B's, they have regular seats in them, like a truck, and the back is really big and comfortable like a typical bigger RV. So here is your Class C motor-driven RV. Got a really big back end, as you can see with larger appliances, sink and stove that are spread out with a bigger bathroom, more comfortable. Your Class C. So we looked at the Class B, which is like a van, and now we have the Class C that looks more like a camper, but it has a truck front end. So we're going to go right next door and look at another Class C. look at this one you'll notice it's very spacious big recliner nice dinette large counter space a bigger stove everything's bigger look at this bedroom with double armoire overhead cabinet and look at this huge bathroom yeah you can get what you want if you want to pay for it more luxury more money all right this next vehicle what I was telling you about is on a tractor trailer frame. It's a humongous class C. So this is same type of system layout, but it's on a massive frame like a tractor trailer, like a motorhome, but it's a class C with it. a front end that's like a truck and the back end is like a big motorhome. Look at this thing. Very, very, very spacious. Look, it's got a big sink, double sink, big microwave, a residential refrigerator. Look at that flat screen. Whoa. So these are just like the motorhomes, except they're a little bit shorter, but have better quality fixtures, fitting, and accessories. So this one's more of a unit that people would live in more frequently, like a full-time RVer. So it's a little more luxurious, a little more sturdy, better built. So now we're going to move on to the Class A motorhome. We visited the Class B's first, little vans. Class C, bigger truck, bigger back. Oh, here's another super big, super Class C. One more big super Class C. We'll look at that, and then we'll move on to the Class A motorhome. Oh, yeah. These things are like a diesel truck up front with the big diesel motor and a big wide back end for more comfort look at this thing 
Look how luxurious it is. The walls slide out to make it really wide when you're parked. It's just very spacious and luxurious. Look at that big refrigerator, like a residential fridge. And look at the shower, so nice and comfortable. Spacious, and another big bathroom. So you got the shower separated from the bathroom, which is nice. And that huge bedroom. Luxury, look at those LED lights in the ceiling. Ducted AC, it's very nice. So nice. Next up, we're going to the Class A motorhomes, but this one is a special one. This is the smallest Class A you can buy. A super small Class A motorhome. And here you see it, the Class A motorhomes don't look like a truck in the front end. It's a big old motorhome. Well, this one particular one is a little bit smaller. It's the smallest uh, that you can buy, but it's still a Class A, and you can see it's narrower, so it's not as spacious. But you still have all the same amenities, just a smaller rig, just like a regular uh, camper, you know. Small dinette for like two people. So it's almost like a couple's Class A. On a budget, and like the Class C's, there are two different frames for the Class A's. So this is more of a small automobile type truck frame. And then you have a diesel type frame. So let's first look at one of the, the lower priced Class A's. They're very uh, hard to tell the difference if you don't have the trained eye. But the easy giveaway is if they're made by Ford, Chevy, or GM, it's a cheaper model. If it's made by Freightliner or someone like Big Diesel uh, Construction, they're gonna be twice as expensive and twice as better. So here is a Ford Class A. It's still nice, it's very nice inside. It looks nice, luxurious, but you'll see the difference when we get into the diesel pusher. Well, they call them diesel pushers because the motor for the diesel pushers are in the back. This one has a Ford motor in the front, but they're still beautiful outside. You see the construction, this beautiful shiny fiberglass, laminates and very nice looking. So here is another Ford, I think. Nope, this is a Tiffin. So this is a, a, a more uh, diesel pusher. Nice, luxurious one. Yeah, this is like a ballroom in here. The lighting's not on, so you can't really get the feel. We'll get one. I believe I have a, a better lit one. Look at this kitchen, the backsplash. So beautiful. Here's the bedroom. Very spacious. And there is the bathroom with the big shower and toilet sink. Very nice. And look at that sofa. Plenty of room in this RV with an electric fireplace and a recliner. So let's go to the next Class A. Let's see what we got. You thought this one here? Oh, we're going to walk around the outside here. As you can see, it's very nice and shiny like the other one. And here comes another industrial... Uh, Inter the, the ones they're made by international too so we got freightliner international well these are the luxurious ones these there's the sky is the limit they usually come in starting around quarter million going up and here is a very nice class a very spacious the lights aren't on so it's dark in this one the electricity's not on but as you can see, there's lots of space. That's why people live in these things. Because it's a home on wheels. And it's much better built. Alright, what's up next? We're going to walk around the outside. Pretty blue detail. Detail. Decals. Allegro. Yeah, the, there's the diesel motor in the back. It's made by Tiffin, so it's a Class A diesel pusher. So here's another one by Tiffin, big diesel pusher. I think this one was very luxury. Look at these steps. Stone floor, and look at this thing. Dual recliners, dual cup holders. I'm sure the, the seats are heated and vibrate and all that. Big kitchen, 
What is this? A bathroom, toilet, and sink. Not even the shower. And here's a humongous bed. And look at that shower. Another toilet. So it's a two and a half bath. And look at double vanity sink. And that's nice. Very nice. Look at that residential refrigerator. What a nice rig. Moving on. What's next? Look at the outside with red accents. I think they're, we're going to come up on a really... All right. This is made by Winnebago, so this was uh, not a diesel pusher, so it's more of a gasoline-driven engine. The engine's in the front, so not as luxurious, not as well-built, but a lot cheaper in price. So, like I said, you can be fooled if you don't know what you're looking for. You certainly don't want to pay extra money when you don't need to. So, here is the lower end class a as you can try to look and see the differences there certainly are differences moving on i looked, looked like i was in a hurry to get out of there so see no engine in the back the engine is in the front it's a gasoline engine i think it's a ford and here's another Ford Winnebago, cheaper model. Look, it's got an outside TV. How nice is that? Hey Hello. I heard the, uh, the AC running. <laughs> See the price? 179 I believe. Somebody's in this rig, so I don't want to videotape them. The bathroom, the bedroom, and here's the shower in the bathroom. Very nice. That's something I wanted in my rig, is a nice shower uh, in my rig. And I did. I got a very nice shower. All right. Moving on. I know there's a very luxurious one that I took a video of. Class A. Gasoline. Class A. See, there's the motor in the front. 119. So this one's really cheap. Used still in great shape now here's one three hundred and forty nine thousand dollars so we have a diesel pusher yeah the lights are on in here oh yeah look at this thing Woo! yeah showroom right here that's what you see in a brand new showroom wow you could go bowling in this thing it looks like a bowling alley look at this thing how long it is luxurious beautiful shiny that, did you see the ceiling it's incredible big refrigerator going into the bedroom oh here's the bathroom going into the bed bedroom wow the ladder is just laying there that goes storage look at that big bedroom now we back into a second toilet double vanity sink and a big old honking shower oh yeah see they put in tile in the shower in the heavy duty rigs look how beautiful look at that ceiling so luxurious amazing yeah you got the money you can ride in style You go a lower price model 137,000 outdoors TV screen how cool is that all right remember this is not a ex super expensive one and the door comes in on the side instead of near the front and look at these swivel chairs and it's a Ford uh, V10 motor in this rig you got two recliners there dinette it doubles kitchen stainless steel sink Stove, microwave, microwave and oven. And then on the left, we have a half bathroom. And here's a big refrigerator. 
Look at the storage here, my goodness. Big old bed, nice. Here's a big shower with your sink and toilet. As you can see, it's not nearly as, uh, as luxurious as the other one. Still amazing, you know, you can get spoiled when you see the top of the line. And here comes a Mac Daddy. The Mac Daddy, top of the line, $472,000. Let's check this baby out. You know what's gonna happen here. Look at the, sh the floor shining already. So beautiful. Oh, this is Miami Vice. This is Miami Vice happening right here. Look at this thing. A black refrigerator, black accents, brown and black. Wow. Yeah, almost a half a mil for this dude. Look at this thing. Wow. Look at the LED lights. Oh yeah. Very, very luxurious. It's like it should have an island there. It's <laughs> it's so wide. Yeah. All right. I think I've had enough. I got front parking right here because I got here before they started. I think they started. I got here a half an hour before they started, so I got front parking. But I've had enough. It's getting warm here in Florida, so I'm done. So thanks for watching RV Weekends, and we'll see you on the next one. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And share this video with a friend, as it'll help my channel grow. Thanks again for watching RV Weekends. We'll see you next time. Hello there guys, here is a bonus RV for you. This is my RV, well not mine, but it's just the same model as mine, but it's four years newer and much more expens expensive. I paid only about 20,000 and change, plus tax tag and title fees, stuff like that. 260 RB, a Transcend Explorer made by Grand Design. Look at it, as soon as you walk in the rig, there's the double sink. Big stainless steel sink. Turn to the right. You got queen size bed with storage of your clothing on either side. A place to mount a TV and a skylight. Storage under the bed. And I love this kitchen. Got a big refrigerator. And to the left is the stove. And the extra bonus, super special feature on my rig is a pantry to the left of the stove. See that door? That is a pantry. Very nice. I love that thing. And to the left is the dinette and recliners right in front of the flat screen. Very nice. And I love this part too about this RV. This is a big bathroom. Plenty of storage. And here's the dinette on the right, which I converted into a business computer station. And there's your bonus footage of my rig. Well, you know, same model. Four years newer. All right, we'll see you guys next time.